Hi guys. Okay. So this week, oh, oh, oh. this week is uh, like one of our last weeks. So I decided let's do some fun things. Let's build some stuff. Let's kind of like arts and crafts and music put together. I know you have your arts and crafts, but okay. So this first one, what I need you to get is I need you get I need you to get a piece of paper and some crayons or markers or even a pencil, um, something like that. Okay, so pause the video right now. Go get that stuff. Okay, I'm hoping you're pausing the video. Okay, so once you have that stuff, I'm gonna keep going. Once you have that stuff, we're gonna kind of go over something, okay? Um, so music makes us all feel something, whether it's the same or different. Some songs make us feel happy. Some songs may make us feel sad. Some songs, we kind of talked about this during Halloween. Some songs are kind of spooky and might make you feel kind of spooky. Um, different songs make you feel different ways. So today, what we're going to do, I'm going to play a bunch of old songs. They don't have any words in them. They just have instruments in them. Okay. And I'm going to play these songs. And what you're going to do with either your crayons or your pencils or your markers or your paint, I don't care. Um, you're going to draw on the paper. Make sure you have enough space or you have enough paper because we're gonna do a few of these. So, okay. And you're going, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab a color of marker or pencil or whatever that you think describes that song. So if it makes you feel happy, get like a yellow or a red or something like that. Um, get a color that makes you happy and draw something that you think the music sounds like okay um if it makes you feel sad draw like a little rain cloud with with the uh, rain coming down because that's sad okay just uh if it's happy draw sunshine if it's it has to you can do more than just you know just do something that makes you feel happy draw something that you think the song sounds like to you okay this is all about what you think the music sounds like. So if you hear, this first one's gonna be easy because we did it in class. It's the Peer Gant, if you remember that story that we heard or listened to. Um, the one that he snuck into the trolls, um, or they kidnapped him, didn't they? They stole him. He took a nap in the woods and the trolls came and grabbed him and brought him into their lair. And then he ran away and then we played the game. Um, that's the first song we're gonna listen to, part of it, the first part of it. So it should make you feel a little happy. But I'm not telling you how to feel. So we're gonna listen to this. I might draw along, uh, draw along with you guys, but right now I need to make sure that the music and everything works, okay? So I'm gonna put this first song on. You draw what you want and how this song makes you feel. Deal. Got it. Let's do it. It might make you feel sleepy. I hope you guys can hear it. I'm 
I'm only gonna play a little bit of it. I'm not gonna play the whole song because that would be okay. So that's the first song. Let's do this one. I'll draw along with you guys on this one. Give you a little bit extra time while I'm changing phones. Okay. Um, okay. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> I'm coloring with you guys. Changing the song. Which is scary. Well, you ready? Let's go on. <laughs> Think about how it makes you feel, and then you're going to draw it. Thank you. 
let's do let's do three more how about that and then i'll show you what i have drawn on my prepare okay okay so three more ready well, so you should be on your fifth drawing or fifth piece of paper if you're using paper okay uh let's do this one i looked at the name so i am getting my idea from the name i'm cheating a little bit bad miss phillips i'm cheating more so there's one let's do let's do this one ready you might know this song you might know all these songs i'm cheating a little bit on this one too Okay. Hold on. 
Let me see, let me see. We will do this one, because I know we heard this one in my class too. Ready? One, two, three, go. Let's see if it'll play. Okay, hold on. Pause that one. Hold on. <laughs> Let's do this one instead. Let's do this one instead. I hope you can hear that. I give you some time on this. If some of you guys drew that little sled thing that I showed you whenever it was writing those little things, I'm going to go crazy. I've showed that to you like three times now. Okay. <clears throat> I said three more. Let's do one more. This is the last one, I promise. Um... Let's do, I'll close my eyes and pick one, one, two, that one, that one, two, that one. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, that's one. This one's working. Thank you. 
seconds to finish three two one okay drop pencils marker well cap the marker don't put it on the floor uh all that kind of stuff okay so on the count of three you're all gonna show me your drawings i will show mine too remember i didn't do that first one so okay okay on three one two Three. Oh, I can't really see mine. Okay, I'll go through mine. Remember, nobody tells you how to feel. You feel what you feel, right? So whenever you're listening to music, it's the same thing. Nobody tells you what it means to you. You decide what the music feels to you, okay? I'm gonna show you. Whenever I say what I draw, what I drew, that does not mean you should have drawn the same thing. If you did, wow, cool, we think the same way. If you didn't, that just makes you more special, okay? Uh, so that first one was Peter Gant. I didn't draw that one. So you could have drawn whatever. Um, man, at this point, oh, uh, I, would have, I would have drawn like a sunset because of Smokey Bear, Smokey Bear ruined that for me. You probably can't remember Smokey Bear. It was a long time ago. Well, it's a long time ago. Um, but it always reminds me of like forests and trees and a sunrise coming up and birds chirping. Okay, so that was the first one. The second one's name, I kind of ruined it this way too. I cheated again. Um, the second one's name is Spring. And so I drew a bunch of, if you can see them, I drew a bunch of flowers. Okay. My third one, it's called the Song of the Valkyries or something like that. And Valkyries are like warrior, like warrior bird ladies. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Um, so I drew instead of warrior bird ladies, I drew angry bees. Uh, my fourth one, it was symphony in G minor. It just reminds me of like a whole bunch of wind, like right now, like a whole bunch of wind just like these storms okay uh five i cheated on this one remember it's called swan lake so uh i got creative good job miss phillips and i drew a swan on a lake right there there's a storm in the background for the spooky part uh number six i cheated again because most of the time this song is played at like graduation so uh yeah i just drew a gra graduation cap uh <laughs> Number seven, I messed this one up. Uh, I played another song and then told you to quit and then told you to draw this one. This is the one that we uh, played to in my classroom on uh, Pierre Gant whenever he was running away from the trolls, right? And we watched that video of the little the little sled guy, right? And he was going down the... And he'd like fly off and you guys would crack up laughing. Yeah. Um, so I drew a troll because trolls. Um, that last one that I played, it was just a random one. It reminded me of a very muscular guy 
winning a gold medal and having a parade. And I didn't draw the parade, but I drew balloons. So there's my muscle guy, right? Um, it was fun, right? It just, it lets you guys have a little bit of fun. It makes you guys realize how different music can mean to different people. So say that I drew all that. You could have drawn things completely different because you thought it was completely different. You thought of something completely different. That is awesome. Some of you might have drawn the same things because it made you think of the same things. That's awesome too. Um, that just makes you realize what music kind of does. Um, okay, so before Thursday's lesson, I need you to get some stuff. I need you to get a empty, I have a full one here, but an empty water or any kind of plastic bottle, any kind of plastic bottle, um, a tube of some sort. So I have like a little small uh, toilet paper tube. You could get like, it could be from like gift wrap. If you've been wrapping gifts lately, <laughs> um, it could be a, it could either be a toilet paper tube or a, um, paper towel tube, okay? Um, tape, a handmade death tape, and you need a parent's help during this one, Thursday, because you'll need to use a knife. They'll need to use a knife, okay? So if you get that stuff, if you just worry about plastic bottle, because we're gonna need this part from it, okay? Um, a tube, tape, and oh, and paper. Like construction paper would be best, but any kind of paper, okay? So that's what paper, that's what you need to get before Thursday, okay? So see you guys then.